I know it doesn't look good, but I swear I don't have a problem. Hello, my name is Justin Lynn and welcome back to CMB Extra. It's been a little while. It's been a couple days, couple weeks, maybe a bit longer. I'm in the awkward beard stage, I apologize. I, I hate it. Licensed video games. I have a lot of them. I keep buying them. I keep buying them. To explain why I have so many, we've got to go back a little bit. So I've been making videos on SpongeBob stuff since about 2015. So why was I doing that exactly? Why was a 14 year old Chester doing that? Uh, because firstly, I love SpongeBob. Secondly, uh, they were very cheap. So f the majority of the SpongeBob games I got here, I've had for quite a few years now. Uh, and the reason for that is I probably bought 10 of them or so for like two bucks each. No one cared about them. There was, out of all the people on like YouTube doing them, there was like Fred5107, Lamhoot, Bobby Broccoli, and me. There was barely anyone doing it. No one cared. They were cheap as. PS2 games were like a dollar a pop. No one cared. And I was like, yes, I have five bucks in my pocket. I can buy five games and I can make videos on them. That was the main reason. A lot of them still are cheap, but now it's more Xbox 360 games and that type of era that are cheap now. PS1 games are hard to get your hands on. There are, this isn't all of them. There are a few other ones lurking around that I can't find, uh, but this is the majority of my collection. Uh, there's a lot more below the screen, uh, but yeah, so it's now getting more and more expensive. There are a lot of SpongeBob games out there that I really want to buy, but they are so expensive. Like Hero Pants, I know very few people want to own that, but it hasn't gone down in cost, all right, since it released. It's still 50 bucks here in Australia to buy on eBay. And, it's like, and that's not even including postage. I'm like, can I justify spending $50 on a terrible game? And I know I can because in like five years, it's going to be a hundred bucks because there are no copies of that out in the wild. So it's getting harder and harder to get them. So I thought we would spend some time and go through my enormous collection of uh, some of my uh, licensed games. There you go. All right, so the PC versions of SpongeBob games. I have quite a few of them. Uh, they are actually really good. A lot of them are actually somehow better than the PC, than the normal versions. Uh, point and click games, really fun. We actually live streamed the entirety of this. You can check it out. I'm not sure if we can check it out, actually. I'll have to work that out because we're doing a whole thing of moving some live streams to a VOD channel. Anyway, PC games. Heaps of fun. I really actually enjoyed this one. The mini games are really cool. A bit finicky to control now. Really hard to get to work on modern PCs. Like, really hard. <laughs> <laughs> but these games just absolutely nail one thing and the most important thing which is the SpongeBob comedy. They get it hands down because that's all they have. So they have to do it well. One of my newer additions to my collection, the Rugrats All Grown Up, All Growed Up game. I played this a heap as a kid. I'm going to make a video on it when I can work out how to make it work on my computer. I'm getting to the stage where I'm just going to have to buy a computer with Windows 7 or Windows Vista installed. That is the only way. And make sure, and like, pump a heap of RAM in there so it can actually handle like OBS and stuff. But yeah, such a fun game. Platformer, really clunky, terrible representation of actual like Rugrats comedy and stories and all that type of stuff. Really weird, really awkward, but I played a heap and so I had to have it because the PC games are still incredibly cheap. This was like six, like six or seven dollars. I had to buy it. Jimmy Neutron! Not doing that for the intro! Jimmy Neutron. Jet Fusion. I haven't played yet. I want to stream it. I want to. Uh, this was still also kind of cheap. No one cares about Jimmy Neutron. That's that's the main key to this. Um, yeah. Looks okay. Does It's not definitely not going to be anywhere near as good as the other Jimmy Neutron games and not as bad as the movie game. We streamed that one as well. Uh, we will stream this one at some point. Yes. Gameplay looks interesting, uh, the emulation of it does look quite good, controls are really clunky, really awkward, but fun game for the future. What's next in my lucky dip? Ah, this one. So, <laughs> I bought this one, this was 50 bucks, alright? 50 bucks, I am never going to play it, ever, but I bought it 
because in 10 years, when Gravity Falls is looked back on as one of the absolute greatest cartoons of all time, it's always already considered like that, but in the future will look back very, very, very kindly on Gravity Falls. And the fact that this is basically the only game that they made, this is going to be impossible to get in a few years. And it practically is now. It cost me $50 to get this, all right? That's the price of a new game, okay? Totally Angelica. Another one I play as a kid. Another really weird one. Cheap as chips. Mwah. I will play it at some point if I can get it to work. Another new one that I got, the Lord of the Rings game. I'm so excited to stream this at some stage. I reckon it'll either be an absolute disaster, an awful to play, or it'll be a bit of a sleeping gem and really kind of fun to, to play. I'm, I'm quite keen. I've been um, recently rereading through Lord of the Rings and lots of stuff. And my brother's been going through the similar really in all types of business. So it felt about right. 30 bucks. Not cheap at all. As I'm saying, PS2 games are getting expensive now, especially for ones like this. It better be at least decent, or it better be absolutely horrendous so I can make fun of it. Oh, I've had this for years. I bought this when it came out new. So it technically isn't part of my collection, but it sort of is. I think I got it for quite cheap. Bought with its plastic and all that, took it off. It's got Kinect, and the Kinect stuff is actually fun. I am so excited. No one watches my Harry Potter videos. No one cares about my Harry Potter videos. I put months of work into those videos and no one watches them, but I'm gonna finish the series. I'm gonna review all of them, no matter what, because I own all of them now. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's actually quite good. The main game itself is terrible, but the Kinect stuff is quite fun. Continuing on with Harry Potter. Ba -ba 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 yeah, so I got the uh, Mary Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I probably could. I don't know why I need to read that. Got it for streaming, got it for reviewing. Uh, absolutely chugs. I'm playing on the Xbox. I had to sort out some issues with my Xbox 360. Uh, but did a whole heap of PC upgrades. Got a new Elgato Pro one, the ones that like plugs into the PCIe slots of the, the computer. Great. I love it. it. Means I can have a window on this, <laughs> like a window on this computer that's just Elgato playing in real time the game and then the recording like streaming software to my other uh, monitor. It's great, I don't need a TV or anything. I can just have the consoles, it's so good. Anyway, chugs, it's like 20 FPS. <laughs> so, I got, uh, it's the next one to review. So keen. Ba ba ba, I already owned this game but I bought it because Xbox 360 games are cheap now and I had to get it because I've only played the Wii version and I will never play that version again after I did like a, I played it for like three hours and I uploaded a big cut down version of it to like 15 minutes. Really funny montage, I loved it. Emotion controls. Oh, they hurt me, they, oh, they hurt. So I'm going to review this version so I don't have to do the motion controls. <laughs> Fun game, actually. So hilarious. So awkward. This one. I have no memories of this one. Bought it. This one wasn't even cheap. This one was like 25 bucks. Not cheap. I don't remember anything about it. I didn't play this one at all. It was too complicated because you need to literally have like a paper map of Hogwarts because you just got lost the entire time because it's like a photorealistic version of Hogwarts. So there's just nonsense everywhere. You just spent hours getting lost. This is going to be a fun one to stream and review. Anyway, no one cares about that except for this one. I'm kind of disproving the whole Xbox games are cheaps. $60. $60 because no one bought this. So these are rare as. PC was quite cheap, but I have no confidence in that working. This was so expensive, all right? And I know it's bad. Everyone knows it's bad. And I spent, I could have bought like Hyrule Warriors. I could have bought a Pokemon game. I could have bought the Shin Megami Tensei 5, which I have opinions on, but anyway. I spent it on this. I don't have a problem. Ba -ba -ba! I bought this because I watched the movie with my girlfriend and I thought it was fun. Brave. It's got Kinect. Yeah. Yeah. It's 
gonna be so good. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna stream this. I'm, nef I'm probably not gonna review it, but movie was quite good. I was surprised at how good the movie was. I watched it when it was in cinemas and I didn't care for it then, but I care for it now. And uh, it was quite good. I liked it. I'm excited to play the bad game. I dropped it. And my newest addition to my collection. Also not cheap, $25. Wallace and Gromit goes the way rabbit. The, the game, the movie scarred me for life. Literally, it scarred me for life. And I'm so excited to stream this. It's going to be so much fun. And I might review, I bought one of the other Wallace and Gromit games, which was $60. I had to because there was literally one version of it selling in Australia. And I was like, if there is only one version selling, I need to buy it. It will never come up again, or I'll have to ship it over from America and then buy an American PS2. But I have it. I'm excited for it. Sam's Intent Run. This is the copy I've had my entire life. This is my brother's copy. It's my copy now. Uh, there's no game in there. The Simpsons didn't run. You already have your opinions about that. From what I remember, it was quite good. Bah. <laughs> Actually quite rare. Somehow. I don't know. Actually quite like it. I think it's quite fun. I think it's quite cute. Uh, very boring. Very stock standard. But quite fun. Take that, Riders DX. All right, this game's weird. <laughs> Sword Art Online Lost Song. My brother, he came back from work. He works in a kitchen. He worked in a kitchen. Comes home with this game. And I was like, Chester, one of the guys I work with gave this to me to give to you. And I was like, what? He didn't explain any more than that. I now have <laughs> Sword Art Online. <laughs> lost song. I played it for like five hours. Didn't understand it. <laughs> so bad, but I have it. I like the only PS4 game in it. Oh, nope, nope. Ah, this piece of sh Such a bad game. Man, I've, I've been too lenient on this game for way too long. It is really mediocre. I would have so much preferred if they just re-released the original game in widescreen, HD, tone up the, like, the... make it less blurry, make it a bit crisper, but just be the original game. Would have been so much better than this. This is just absolutely... So... Ugh. Ugh, I'm over it. I'm over talking about it. Man. Purple Lamp, they're good. They tried their best. The new game might be good. Man. Bam! We, we already streamed this and reviewed this. No problem, Prisoner of Azkaban. So atmospheric, had some really cool ideas and elements in it. 50% off? I didn't pay 50% off this. I think this was like, I don't know, 15 bucks or something. Xbox, original Xbox games are still cheap as. No one, everyone cares about the PlayStation 2. No one cares about the original Xbox. I so want to buy one. It would make my life so much easier playing these games. Because they're always better. They always look great. But I'll probably buy a GameCube before that because I so want to own a GameCube. Din -din! Amazing movie. Really good game too. Really cool ideas. The 2D stuff is great. The atmosphere is great. The 3D stuff is... Eh. It's alright. So many different types of gameplays. The multiplayer is so much fun. So cool. Awesome game. Like four bucks on eBay. Yeah. Free own. Did I get this through EB Games? No way. Wait. I got it EB Games. I didn't get it on eBay. Seven dollars. Wow. I'm gonna keep that in there. How the hell did EB... EB Games doesn't even have, like... I've been looking for so long. I wanna buy... Uh, what's it called? Wind Waker HD for Wii U. They never have it. They never have Astral Chain. They never have anything. They have Tintin. Under a movie game. Do we need to talk about it anymore? It's a good game. Mwah, I love it. This is my original copy. I had this also, like my entire life. And it has the disc in it. This piece of shit. Such a fun video. Connect requires the connect too. So awesome having so many people involved in that and also being able to work with like other YouTubers around it, people I've never worked with before. Heaps of fun. Uh, yeah. Game's not that fun. It's fun to talk about.
I hate it. So bad. But so much fun also. It's weird. Terrible games are like that. BJ is always like messaging me, being like, Chester, why don't you ever talk about a good game? Like a game you enjoy or anything like that. It's like, man, there's no fun in that. There's no fun at all in talking about good stuff. No one cares. And I don't care either. I like this stuff. <laughs> Rubbish. I like torturing myself. Blah, blah, blah. PC. And it also comes with Operation Krabby Patty. Played it once. Worked once. Broke. This is new. I've always had the uh, Wii version of the game. I wanted to play without motion controls. Give it a go. Haven't really played much. I think I might start it. I, uh, I recently bought... Because the new uh, Elgato capture card used doesn't have anything for PlayStation 2 games to work, I've got a, a powered converter that runs the PS2 signal into a HDMI and through. It doesn't like upscale or anything like that, it just allows you to play it through that type of stuff. And it works quite well. I'm, I'm really, it's allowing me to play the system more and I'm enjoying that. This is actually quite good. I think this was actually a bit more expensive. This was early. I bought this early in my YouTube career. Um, but yeah, I think this was like maybe $15. That was all right. It's on the more expensive side, but yeah. Ah, quite a good game. I think I've reviewed it. If not, I probably should. Anyway, this. I don't have a problem. You have a problem. Get out of here. It was cheap. Xbox games are cheap. It was like 10 bucks. I had to get it. Otherwise, you, I'll never get it. It'll never happen. Mmm. Xbox smell. It's the same game. What are you doing there? I can play it on... Actually, no, I can't. This thing nearly bricked my Xbox 360. I don't understand. It, like, kept crashing it. And after that, it had so... It literally corrupted one of my save files. Well, like, one of my profiles. I had to delete it. Because it get, it would take 10 minutes for the Xbox to even start. It corrupted one of them. That's so cool. Original copy. Had this for years. Love it. Motion control's weird, but hey, I got it. Never played it on this console, I've always emulated it. I got it. I know, whenever I have a share house thing or have friends, I'll play it with them. I don't know. I love the Xbox 360, it works great <laughs> when it's not corrupted. Ah, I knocked it off. Boating Bash, so much more fun than it should be. I feel like I discovered this the same time as everyone else on the internet discovered this. Heaps of fun. Cheap as chips, Wii games, it's like five bucks. Mwah. It was so much fun. Moving with friends. Never played it. Don't own the webcam attachment thing. Will I ever play it? No, but I own it. Eight dollars. They're all pretty decent condition as well. Stack of the toy bots. Played the first mission. Haven't played it since. Early days, eight bucks. Back when they were cheap. Royal Ransom, I owned it as a kid, don't know what happened to it, bought it again, like four bucks. Perfect condition as well, like, it's even got the man, like, most of these actually have all their manuals, all that type of stuff, like, okay, no, not perfect condition, but not bad. I, I don't know, this game is actually so good, so easy, way too easy, and then if you move it up any of the difficulties, it gets way too hard, um, but yeah, fun game. Who needs normal likes this? I... Yeah. Bit too easy, but still great. Nicktoons Unite, shit, get way even... Get out of my face. Hated it. So bad. Probably like... Two bucks. Bah. The classic. The OG. It's alright. It's good. No, it's good. It's good. Um... Yeah, this was one of the early, this was probably actually one of the earliest ones I ever bought because I never owned it as a kid and I found it on eBay when I was like 13, 14 and I was like, ah, it's a SpongeBob game. I own that console. I like SpongeBob. I'll give you the worst console, but I love it to death. This game's so much fun. <laughs> it's not fun. Uh, it's not great. It's glitchy as. I fall through everything, but it's so much fun to play and so much fun to talk about. Because people either love it or hate it, and I love games like that. <laughs> it's so much fun. There you go. You're getting taller than my microphone stand, my goodness. Worked once. Broke. I was hoping to stream it. It broke. Play as a child. It's good. Another copy of Battle for Bikini Bottom. I don't know why. I want to play it on Xbox 360. 
I don't have the card. I don't know what I did with the disc. Attack and the power of Juju. Played it for an hour. The recording broke. And gave up. Do I have... Where do I put the discs? Man, I'm terrible. God damn. <laughs> and lastly... Alliance Square Pantus. Man, this game makes me angry. So angry. I hate mo- I hate- I don't work well with the whole pushing buttons at the right time stuff. It just makes me angry. But I got it. Well, there you go. No, I don't have a problem. Yes, you have a problem. Uh, this is my collection of Weedaz games. Licensed games. Mostly Spongebob. A few other ones in there. This isn't all of them. There are a few outstanding ones that are somewhere within my house and a few other ones that I still need to buy. But yeah, there you go. Let me know which ones of these you also have and any ones that I missed, any outstanding ones in my collection. We won't go into PC ones because there's heaps of PC ones like the Nickelodeon basketball and all that type of stuff. But main console line ones, what am I missing? Let me know because I gotta buy them now or they'll be so expensive. So expensive. Anyway, bye.